<sighs> Howdy folks, this is one of those tools you sort of don't want to buy, but the times are a changing and so this is going to happen today. Let's take a look at it. It's from my favorite company, Vivor. Yeah, let's get her open. Well, like I was saying, if you're into do-it-yourself projects, you're working on your helicopter, your you know your plane, your motorcycle, working on just about anything these days, it seems like we're getting more and more uh, metric and. I, I have metric sockets that I was reluctant to buy, but eventually it's like, you just have to bite the bullet and do it. This is kind of like that, yeah. Uh, I have a complete set of tap, uh, taps, which is uh, for tool and die work, uh, for doing threading and all that, but it's all just standard. I also have pipe thread uh, stuff, but for tap and die metric, uh, I got, I have no drill bits, I have nothing, you know. And I've gotten away with it for a while, but one of the cheesy things I have done on a machine or a motorcycle or something is I've drilled it out and made it a quarter, 20, you know, something like that. But eventually, it's like it's coming down to the point where it's like, you know what, I need to have a set of metric tap and dies. So, Beaver makes a really nice set. They have a lot of nice tools anyways. Uh, they have a great selection of interesting things, including restaurant and commercial equipment, but they also have carry tools and they put their brand name on their stuff, so it's cool, you know. So today, they sent it over this and I was like, yeah, you know, this is something that I guess we all need to take a look at. Oh, wow. The very first thing, by the pound, this is a great deal because this, this is heavy. <laughs> so you already know you got quality because you got so much weight in the box. And there's two types, and I'll try to remember what they are because there's two, wow. Oh yeah, jeez, look at this thing. This is, this is the one that you don't want to, yeah, you don't want to loan this to the neighbor, okay? If he borrows something, I don't know, give him a hammer or something, don't, don't, loan, don't loan him this. Look at this, I'm gonna tilt this up, look at this set, I mean, yeah, uh, that should last you the rest of your life, you know, like, jeez. Yeah, just think back, it wasn't that long ago we had to buy metric sockets, well, I think we were all pretty upset about that, but right now, uh, tool and die work, anything you get into now with the cars, you know, we've sort of learned over the years, okay, a 10 millimeter will take a lot of things apart. You know, that's a, that seems to be a common favorite size. And also the 13, 14 millimeter size. And then every once in a while you'll hit a big nut and go, oh, that's 27 millimeter. You know, it's like, yeah. So we're kind of converting, but we're kind of not. We're, we're resisting the obvious. But um, I've run into a number of issues in the last couple of years where I needed to clean a thread out and I had I had to hit it with an airline and it was metric and it was like man I hope that does a trick because I don't have any of this you know this set here looks like to me it looks like a $500 set of you know <laughs> taps and dies and Vivor offers like I said this in two different finishes one's a, some kind of a carbon uh, carbon high speed steel finish or something and the other one is the uh, I think it's titanium coated something like that it's two wild different uh, coatings on here. But the $89 price tag is what's like, okay, that's for a tool that's gonna be probably lifetime and will get me out of my metric world, you know, or at least service that end of it. It's really not a bad buy. It's kind of like I'll buy it once and I will never have to think about metric tool to tap and die work ever again because I, it's all right here you know, in a nice package. And it is very heavy, like I said. It's, I don't know, we should we should put it on a scale and see what this thing weighs. <laughs> Bear with me here. This is going to be kind of awkward because I don't know if you're going to be able to read the scale. That's in pounds, not metric, uh, kilograms or some weirdness. Something we guys, us guys can understand, but this is a postal office scale. I don't know if I can get it balanced very well, but yeah, there you go. It's, well, 12, 13 pound on there. <sighs> Easily. Yeah, metric is like a... <sighs> A science all its own and I know a lot of us especially us old schoolers we hate to deal with metric but this is what's happening the the socket set was just the beginning you know now we're you know looking at this kind of thing but there's some good things about this that I do like and like let's just take a quick look at this uh, this is one of the most simplest ones but the M4 bolts that I have right here for example if I look through this set I will see that there's an there's a four that's a die right there and 
I can screw that into the die because it's an M4 bolt. And I'll actually pull it out of there for a matter. And I'll just show it to you, but it's marked M4. It is the M4.0.7 uh, actually, but it's it's M4. Uh, in, an, in an M4, for example, this is just basically the only thread you're going to have to deal with. It's That's all there is. There is not, there's no national course, national fine. There's just M4.7, so I was like, yep, that's fine. You might run into something else, but this set basically covers really what should be pretty much standard in the industry at this point. And if you're, you need to clean the thread out where you're screwing this bolt into, then you can come over here and look for M4. And there's M4 right here. Let's see if I can get them out of there. Boy, these things are in nice and tight, which is a good thing. And there's the M4 uh, tap. And again, I can now clean the thread out for this bolt to go into something because I already know what it is. Now, the old cheat, of course, old school, was to take the bolt and the, the, and the tap and kind of line up the threading and just sort of do one of these and see if it combs across the thread real nice and smooth. And if it does, it was like, you know, yeah, I got a match, you know. But uh, unfortunately, it's not quarter 20 and 3 eighths and, and all these things that we, used to, that we always dealt, dealt with. This is what's happened. But metric, in some ways, is kind of uh, it's kind of like it's 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 not as hard. Actually, in some ways, I think it's a lot easier to deal with. Uh, the M5, for example, same thing. It's a 0.8, uh, five, and then the M, the six. Uh, the six has two sizes. So you're, you're looking at a fine thread, and you're looking at a coarse thread here, on the six. On the seven, you're looking at two threads. Again, you know, sort of like national fine, national coarse kind of thing. When you get up into the bigger sizes, you'll get up to like uh, three possible threads, or even, uh, well, three anyways for most. In some cases, four. If you go up to like 10, you'll see that 10.75, 10, uh, 10, 10 by 1, 10 by 1.25, and 10 by 1.5. This is the distance in the thread from peak to peak by metric standards of one millimeter or well based on a millimeter so it's not hard to understand it's just it's just a little frustrating when you're so used to the you know the good old standards like me old school comment in the make comments below about how much you hate metric thread <laughs> but it's like this is you know what's happening and i thought uh, Viver sent this over to us. I really thank Viver for sending this to us because I really wanted to show this to you guys and say, look, you know, this is this is part of that future. Yeah, we do 3D printing, we do lasers, and been doing some CNCs and stuff. And even working on those machines, I have found they're metric, you know, and I have no way to clean or fix, a, repair a thread or a problem with any of those machines if I run into something. This will obviously service way more than that, but uh, this would take care of any issues I have with metric uh, threads or problems with it. Or if I want to create something on the lathe, on my little lathe or something with a metric thread, you know, I can do it. This is just, like I said, it's no fun. It's just, it's just a situation where you buy this once, I guess that should take care of the uh, problem with the metric uh, threading. It's, okay, I had to look back at it, and what it was is this is tungsten. There's tungsten and or carbon steel, so you can get either one. Also, they have a combo set. Now, the top retail price on this right now is I think $110, but if you register with the Vivor gang there, you can get this for around $75 for a deal right now. So I will put a link in the description below where you can find this for that $75. Uh, but you'll have to, like I said, register in order to get the deal. Now, I'll also put a link in for the combo for the standard and the metric set because a lot of us may or may not have standards as well. I have a complete set of standards, so there's no reason to want or need anything in a standard. But for metric, I had nothing. So this was like, yeah, this will take care of it. <laughs> this will take care of all of it. Always. <laughs> so if it's not in here, I don't want it. You know, <laughs> maybe somebody will come out with Whitworth sizes. Yeah, uh, like the old uh, Norton motorcycles. Like, let's not even go there, right? Yeah, you know. Uh, but I'm really happy Vivor sent this over to me because Vivor has, like I said, has a really interesting range of sort of like commercial, industrial, and consumer tools. And they put their their brand name on this thing and uh, when I saw the set it was like that's more than I need but you know what maybe more than I need is a good thing now I got to find a drawer in my roll around where I can put this <laughs> so it's gonna take up some space so why all of this about metric <laughs> yeah 
Uh, just an example, but this past uh, week, as you know, we did a uh, review on a snap maker and we did the three different things. This was the CNC spoil board for it. And these little clamps are metric screws, of course, and the spoil board had some dirty threading in here that was uh, making it impossible for me to get these into the spoil board properly. And I wanted to clean the threads, but it was like, I don't have metric stuff, so I was kind of stuck with, okay, we're gonna have to set the clamps a certain way to where we can get them in until we can you know, clean these threads. The threads are just maybe a little dirty or maybe they weren't made well on the uh, machine because it was probably a, uh, one of those production things, whatever. But in order to clean the threads out, it would only take a second, but it was like, if you don't have metric, you're stuck. You know. A quick chit chat about Viva itself. Uh, they are in almost, they have warehouses in almost every country in the world. I don't even remember how many warehouses they have in the U.S. alone. So if you order from them, a lot of times you'll get stuff really quickly. It's not like you're going to be sitting for six weeks wondering, you know, where is it? I just wanted to mention that because uh, that's one of the strong points of Viva is you, when you order from Viva, you get it pretty quick. Now, Another point, uh, believe it or not, that tap and die set was actually sold out a few months ago, right around Christmas time. I wonder why that happened. Hmm. Might have been on the Christmas list of a lot of people. And it was sold out, so they couldn't actually get the set over to me so I could, you know, share it with you guys. You know, So we had to wait till the stock you know, came back up and then they, they sent it over to me and I was like, yes, great, okay, you know, we'll get that in. I have some more really different tools from Beaver, not like tap and die but other tools from Beaver as well besides we had their CNC in here just a, a few weeks ago and it's a sweet little machine the 3018 is almost infamous for being like the starter kit for a CNC woodworker that wants to get his first taste of something like that but the uh, main point I wanted to make was just that their warehouses are uh, worldwide they said at one time and I will quote it okay that they're in over 200 countries I didn't know there was over 200 countries in the world, but look, yeah, yeah, shock, okay, maybe my geography isn't so good, I don't know. So on another note, uh, that thing was so big, I have two large, well, tall stack or high boy uh, Craftsman toolboxes, and it took pretty much the whole drawer, so I may have to reconfigure my uh, shop a little bit to figure out where I'm going to, you know, keep my... Uh, taps and dies because my other tap and dies in my very old set but anyways uh that one is that was so big it it took the whole drawer pretty much <laughs> not good if i tell a wife i need a new uh roll around to hold everything uh i think i'm dead meat i love that new stuff i'm seeing at the big box stores right now but uh yeah, yeah, budget is what it is, huh? You know? Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notice bell. We do give some tools away. I haven't got anything. I do have something coming. Well, it's here right now that once we show it, uh, we will be doing a giveaway at that point. So, yeehaw. You know, don't want to miss on that one because it's always, it's always a good chance that you might be the winner, all right? Okay. And I'll have some other uh, middle-of-road tech stuff and also have another high-tech item come in and stuff. So, we got all kinds of cool tools to look at. And let's face it, uh, somebody said something the other day about it to me on YouTube. And I got thinking about it for a minute, but it was like, you know, these technologies are emerging. And this is what's happening. So it's like, you know, as much as old school as I am, uh, I should show you some of my antique motorcycle uh, repair parts. Like, pff, I've got stuff that goes back to 1930s, you know. But, uh, you know, the, uh, this new stuff is happening. It's like the metric thing. It's happening, you know. No, I don't like it, but it's happening. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here. Hey, over and out. <laughs>